no to Lavrov's visit to Georgia. Georgian President Salome Zurabishvili was widely criticized both home and abroad this week over her Tuesday speech before the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. The biggest news was her statement that Georgia is to go against its own legislation and let Russian delegation visit Georgia in May to attend the Council of Europe events. Many Russian officials, including Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, violated Georgian law by visiting Georgia's occupied territories without Tbilisi's permission. Zurabishvili has basically announced halting Georgia's law on occupied territories in order to ensure the visit of Lavrov's delegation to Tbilisi. She's undermining state's interests. Salome Zurabishvili would definitely be the first president in Georgian history to end her career with an impeachment, wrote opposition United National Movement member Salome Samadashvili on Facebook. Additionally, critics pointed out that Zurabishvili dodged the question about Georgia's position on sanctions against Russia. Ukrainian PAC member Alexei Kancharenko asked specifically if Georgia's president supports Western sanctions against Russia for occupying Ukraine's and Georgia's territories and failing to fulfill their obligations. And yes, the answer to this very clear question that is so important to us was not positive. European Georgia Parliamentary Group MP Georgi Kandelaki complained on Facebook. Zurabishvili was also reprimanded by Georgians on Facebook for referring to Bidzina Ivanishvili, the chair of the ruling party in Georgia, as president. Initial statement of also referring to some declarations by uh, President Ivanishvili. Pro-government pages and media outlets quickly intervened. For example, the online media Marshall Press suggested that her mentioning Ivanishvili as a president was an influence of French, which is Zurabishvili's first language. In French, president means a chair of the party and also an informal leader, one user on PDC forum noted ironically, scoffing at pro-Zurabishvili spin. Saved Tbilisi Pride Statements by Georgian officials at the Council of Europe caused yet another controversy related to the country's record on fighting intolerance and hate. Tbilisi Pride, a group that was unable to organize a peaceful pro-equality rally in Tbilisi, lambasted both President Zurabishvili and the Georgian Foreign Minister David Zalgaliani for saying before PACE members that the Georgian authorities ensured safety for their event last year. Parallel Georgia, remarked Georgian queer activist Becca Gabadadze. Did I miss anything? Police refused to protect Tbilisi Pride activists to march, so it got cancelled state failed to meet its positive obligation on the freedom of expression and assembly rights, one Georgian tweeted later that day. Taking credit for guerrilla Tbilisi pride that happened not thanks to but despite government inaction is a really lousy way of misleading your foreign friends and allies, Mr. Zalkaliani. Ukrainian journalist Maxim Eristavi also tweeted on Tuesday. Women's rights activist Ida Bakhturide called on PAC members who personally monitored developments last year in Tbilisi to speak up and tell the truth about Georgian government's inactivity. The March of Dignity was held but how? The government openly told activists that they couldn't protect them and they shouldn't hold the event. Activists still went out to march at their own personal risk, Bakhturidze wrote on her Facebook page.